Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have another art journal process video for you. Um, I've been doing a lot more um, art journal videos because I received some great feedback in my last video where I mentioned that art journaling is my first love, but I don't tend to put as many videos up um, due to not thinking that they're very popular. But I had some great feedback and some people telling me how they subscribe to my channel just for my art journal videos. So I'll definitely be sharing more of them. It's it's really great to um share one of my most, you know, one of the things I enjoy most. So I'm starting with um some of my favorite products to use. Now these this is shimmer dust. And it's sort of like a powdered watercolor and you mix it with water and it activates. I really wanted to play with um to play with these and I really wanted to do a journal page um focusing on these, but it it's not the best journal to do this in. So this is um another page in my 100 day project um art journal. Now, when I bought this art journal, I was looking basically for a journal that would um, have enough space in it to do 100 pages a day. But I didn't think very well, and the paper is not the best quality for a lot of the stuff I like to do. It takes paint really well, but not so much really wet media, so watercolours, mists, um, these things. It, yeah, I can't load a lot of water onto the page, which is a shame, because that's what I do best. So I start this page out and I really love it. Right here, I love it. Then I come in with some Midnight and I don't like it anymore. I feel that I wreck it with the Midnight. Now, if this had been in a different journal, I probably could have kept layering until I was happy with it. But being in this journal, the paper is not suited for um, a lot of wet media. So yeah, I didn't, in the end, I didn't like it. See, I probably, it would have blended better if I had have put it wet on wet, but this paper was starting to um, not handle very well, so I had to dry it and come back in with the black. And yeah, it just it didn't work for me. I wasn't happy with it now, but in the end, I'm really happy with the page. I salvage it, so I'm pretty happy with how that turns out. I spend a lot of time, uh, a lot of time trying to blend and uh, get it to work for me because I really did want to um, make it a bit darker. But yeah, in the end, I'm, it doesn't work for me. So this is day 98 in my 100 day um 100 yeah 100 day project that's it i always get all the words mixed up but it's my 100 day art journal this is day 98 so i have two days left i cannot wait to finish this and have an entire 100 page journal finished i'm very excited and i can't wait to share a process video with you not a process video a flip through of this journal when i'm done so if you missed it at the beginning um the colors i'm using are peacock cobalt and midnight i pulled out a few other colors but um yeah they're the three i use and these are the color blast shimmer dusts now they're absolutely beautiful to play with it's a lot of fun it does have a shimmer to it like it says but i just like to use them as sort of like you know as you see me doing now so the, the shimmer isn't what attracts me the most i love the way they react with the water and how they blend in the colors that you can get so that's what i love most about playing with these and uh, in my Dilutions journal that's um, mixed media cardstock, this is going to be much more fun to play with. This journal is just not the best for it. So this is how I decide to try and salvage this page. I decide to come in with some gesso and cover up those black pieces that I just really don't like. And uh, this is my favorite gesso. This is Liquitex um, white gesso. Now I did um, clear gesso the page first because... Like I keep saying, it's really bad quality paper for a lot of wet media. And I thought some of that clear gesso would help. I've recently started using clear gesso because my mists and things react to the white gesso in a way that I just don't like. So I've been using clear gesso and that's helping me with that problem. But yes, in this case, I'm using the white gesso over the top to try and block out some of that black that I'm really not happy with. And in the end, um, I really like the way the page works out. I keep adding more and more and um, heating it and then adding more because I wanted different um, levels of white. I didn't just want to block it all out in just white and make it blend in. I wanted um, some stronger bits. I wanted you to be able to see the strokes and I wanted a lot of texture. So now I'm working on my focal image. And this is just a um, Dina Wakely stamp that I actually have a, uh, a printout of. So I use my computer. And I'm just sticking that down as my focal image. Then I've gone in with some black ink, our Liquitex ink, and just throwing some splatters. It was too much of a diagonal and it looked a little weird. So I put some on my craft sheet and 
go in with my splatter brush and add a few more extra little ones all over the page so it's not just on the one diagonal it's everywhere and then I'm going to go in with some word stickers I if I do a focal image I do like to put words on my pages as well and I have this awesome set of um, tiny phrase stickers in my scrapbooking collection they're from where are they from flutter by designs I think and they have some really uh, cool sayings not just always happy bright type ones but some really grungy and arty ones as well which I really love so I've put down what did I put let your crazy diamond shine something like that and follow your heart so yeah and that just finishes off my page so thanks for watching I, I hope you've enjoyed the process video I really do love um doing art journal process videos so I'm really excited to share these with you of course there's lots of other creative content on my channel there's scrapbooking pages journal pages um project life so lots of awesome things to go check out while you're here so I'll see you real soon with more videos Bye for now.